Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Amy with Ketolicious Life and today I'm in the kitchen making chaffles and ice cream. So today's chaffle is going to be an orange cake and the ice cream I'm making is going to be a creamy orange creamsicle flavor. You remember those orange popsicles with the orange coating on the outside and then inside it was vanilla ice cream? That's exactly what it tastes like. So let's get started. So first we're going to do two cups of heavy cream. We're going to do about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of powdered monk fruit sweetener, one cup of almond milk. This is unsweetened almond milk. We're going to do one teaspoon of the orange extract. Now just use your whisk and stir this up really, really well. Go ahead and taste your mixture. That tastes amazing. You could add a little bit more sweetener here depending on how sweet you like your, you know, sweet things. And you could also add a little bit more orange extract. This tastes exactly like, you know, those orange popsicles that are the orange on the outside and the vanilla on the inside. That's what this tastes like. I mean, to be honest, that's perfect, but I'm going to add, I'm just going to add a little bit more orange and just a smidge more because I like my stuff, you know, pretty sweet. I'm going to add just a, about a half of a tablespoon of the monk fruit sweetener. And that's going to probably be absolutely perfect. But definitely, this is where you can experiment and taste and just see exactly what flavor you want and what sweetness you are going for. Let's give it another taste test. Oh man, that is so yummy. So, so yummy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the freezer. We want to let this chill. I'm going to use some press and seal uh, wrap here so it'll be really nicely sealed since I am putting this in the freezer. I don't want any messes. It'd be better if I had a lid for this bowl. That would be even better. But this is the next best thing. Now this says chill the mixture in your refrigerator until you are ready to make your ice cream. So this is going to go in the refrigerator, our mixing bowl, our ice cream mixer, cooling bowl, whatever they are calling it here, is freezing in the freezer. And so after tomorrow, I will be ready to make the ice cream. I'm so excited. I can't wait. All right, now we're going to make our orange chaffle to go with our orange sickle ice cream. I'm going to take one egg. All right, for this recipe, I am going to be using coconut flour. I've had a few requests from people for um, coconut flour. So we're going to go ahead and use coconut flour in this one. I'm going to be doing two tablespoons of coconut flour. A half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of our orange extract. I'm just going to pour that right on top of our coconut flour and it can absorb into that. And then we're going to do just about a half a teaspoon, a splash of vanilla. 
We're gonna do one tablespoon of very softened warmed cream cheese in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Let's add in our cream cheese. It's very nice and warm. We want it to be really warm so it can incorporate into our batter really well. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. You can use the classic or the golden. The golden just gives it a little bit more of a brown sugar taste. All right, let's go ahead and mix, give that a good mix. It mixes so well when you have your cream cheese melted. It really, really does mix very well and this batter smells amazing. That tastes exactly like an orange cake. Because of the coconut, you are gonna definitely have to spread this around a little bit. You can always thin your batter with just a splash of heavy cream too, and it might go in a little bit easier. Now some of my recipes don't have cheese in them, even cream cheese, and that's just simply because some people have requested, you know, chaffle recipes without cheese. So with these, we wanna let them get golden brown. If we try to take them out too soon, they'll kind of fall apart. Coconut flour does tend to be a little bit more fragile, a little bit more crumbly in baking. So if, I mean, I, probably will make some recipes with coconut and almond flour just to give a little bit of a texture difference. So it's nice to mix things up. All right, so our ice cream maker has been frozen for 24 hours. Our ice cream mixture has been refrigerated also for 24 hours. So everything is nice and cold and we're ready to make our orange creamsicle ice cream. So I am so excited to try this. All right, so I'm gonna take about a cup of our mixture here and pour that in. Oh, I'm already making a mess. And we're gonna put on our top. Okay. Oh, it's already on. Okay, so it's going. So we're gonna check this. It, it's getting really close to being done. I'm so excited. It tastes amazing. Like orange ice cream, orange creamsicle. Oh, wow. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. And then we're gonna serve this up. I am so excited. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take just one chaffle, I think is gonna be plenty. I have this cute little vintage bowl and I'm going to put a delicious scoop of ice cream right on top. This is gonna act as almost like a crust or a cake, an orange cake for our ice cream. Guys, I want to show you this ice cream. Look at this soft serve. It is, oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So let's get a spoon. It comes with a, like a little spoon scoop, but I think I'm going to use um, this instead. And get a nice, oh, it looks so yummy. And Miss Ava is going to taste our orange cream sickle ice cream and our orange chocolate cake. I hope she likes it. The ice cream is really cold. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's really good. Does it taste like orange? It does. Like it tastes... creamy vanilla? Yeah, it's really good. All right, there you have it. Looks so delicious. I'm going to enjoy this. This is kind of my breakfast this morning. So here it is, my orange chocolate cake with orange cream sickle ice cream made with the mini dash ice cream maker i'll list all the information below and the ingredients and the recipe all below please give me a big like 
and share this with someone that you know would love it. And thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Be on the lookout. I've reached 2,000 subscribers and I'm going to have some giveaways coming up. So be sure to look for those and enter those. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great one.